all the uh, farm animals are very interested in what's going on here. And by farm animals, I mean the cats and the dog. Well, the dog's bored as heck, sitting off to that side. You can probably see her furry butt. Yes. But uh, Ninja is sniffing around the laptop, and Callie is, well, she's trying to act disinterested every time I look at her, but you know how cats are. Anyways, hey, it's me, Matthew. Welcome to Chewing the Brew. Today I will be drinking and enjoying Bell's Oberon Eclipse. Oh, get out of here, Callie. No, go on, get down, get down, get down, get out of here. Get out of here, go on, go on. Yeah, go on. Ah, before I so rudely interrupted, I will be drinking and enjoying Bell's Oberon Eclipse. <laughs> So Bell's Oberon Eclipse is a citrus wheat beer. That is, it has um, a lot in common with Hefeweizens, though it's going to be not be quite the same as a Hefeweizen. Uh, wheat doesn't mean it's all wheat, but I believe it just means it's a mostly wheat mash bill. Like, it might be as low as 51%, but I don't actually know. But regardless, the dominant grain in this beer will be wheat. And the citrus, I probably should have done some research, but I did not. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if that's just the hops that produce the citrus note, or if they actually use citrus, orange peel, something like that inside it. The color would suggest that it might actually be an actual citrus, and the smell does too. I mean, this, this smells like a very nice, uh, maybe a Florida orange juice, not a California orange juice, but a Florida orange juice. Um, opened up, you know, recently. Like you opened a, a container of it a few minutes ago and left it open in the room kind of thing. Like there's there's still a little bit of malty notes and maybe some hoppy um, herbal aromas, but the dominant f smell from this is oranges. And so I'm inclined to believe this is probably actually, there's actually citrus involved in the in the actual brewing of this. Wheat beers tend to have a a little bit, I don't know if they have a thicker body like oat, but they tend to have a, like a, a wit beer, it's it's white. Wit is white, so white beer. And that's that's from the proteins that are, um, that the, the, the wheat brings to the brew. Uh, they tend to produce a whiter color. Obviously this is not a white colored beer. Um, and, but there is some, some faint haziness to it or cloudiness, um, and, and that might be a factor of, of the wheat proteins involved in the, come from the wheat in the mash. But that's really not here nor there, neither here nor there. Um, what is important is that this smells very good, and it's a very unique color for a beer. It is very clearly orange, which... Staying on brand, right? <laughs> I believe this is one of the first, so this is the last of my, of this six pack, but I believe this six pack I bought was the first um, Bells Over on Eclipse that I've gotten, and I've greatly enjoyed them. Drinking them, you get a bit of like orange sweetness, not orange zest or orange peel, but kind of an orange juice sweetness at the outset. And then, and then you get a, a pretty nice, like a, a Hefeweizen, and a wheat beer, kind of smooth, creamy, um, light malty, more of a grain than a bread. I don't know if you've ever chewed wheat berries, but they have a, a unique flavor that is, um, it's not the most strongly flavored of any grain, but it's, it's just a, it's a, a flavor characteristic of wheat. And, and I think I can kind of taste that in this. So yeah, that kind of orange juice sweetness. There's very little bitterness. The finish for, for this is the wheat, which is interesting. And then it, and then it kind of closes out with a, kind of a watery, just it's like water and, and wheat berries um, is, is kind of the lingering flavor. It, it, it might be a simple beer flavor wise, but that's not a problem. 
the flavors that are there are pleasant and it makes it very that that simplicity makes it very drinkable uh, you can drink this you know because it's drinkable And not that there's no bitterness at all, but the bitterness that is there is kind of an orange peel sort of bitterness. Or maybe um, the, the the white part just under the, the orange peel and like between the orange peel and the fruit, that white kind of foamy soft stuff, that, that kind of flavor. It's a orange-ish soft mellow note that has just the slightest hint of a peel, an orange peel bitterness. And I realize I'm talking about orange a lot, and this only says citrus, it doesn't say orange. But given the just the, the dominant flavor characteristic of this, I would guess it is orange. Or, what do they say, if it walks like a duck and it quacks like a duck, right? So, if this is orange colored, it smells like oranges, it tastes like oranges, right? I'm drinking good beer. It's outside. It's early February of 2024 when I'm recording this, and uh, we have some, some nice weather here today. Anyways, this is me. I will stop trying to stretch my run time. This is me, Matthew. I've been drinking and enjoying Bell's Brewing's Oberon Eclipse Citrus Wheat Beer. Now we'll catch y'all on the flip side.